And I think he decided that 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 was it. There was nothing he could do. Hey guys, I'm the final anomaly. So a quick way to get into Arm Dragon, Catapult Cannon, and A to Z Dragon Buster in one turn. Very consistent super easy if you like the video please hit it with a like comment down below i'd like to hear from you your thoughts suggestions i would really appreciate it and if you would consider subscribing to the channel it really helps a bunch all right let's get into the combo thank you so much i can kind of show you the play by play on exactly how to get into this combo so what you need to get into this combo is an ojama blue you need to start off with an ojama blue or an oja match if you don't have ojama blue or an oja match uh, what's going to help you get into this combo would be an Ojama Duo, Ojama Pajama, Foolish Burial Goods. Uh, so you have very, very different ways of getting into this combo. You know, if you have three, and this, this deck has three Ojama Pajamas, this deck three, has three Ojama Duos, this deck has three Foolish Burial Goods, this deck has three Oja Matches. So there is so many different ways to get into the combo. Again, this is just show, solely to show you how to do it. So if you didn't draw an Oja match right off the bat or an Ojama Blue, there's a lot of cards in this deck that are going to help you get, get that Ojama Blue on the field. Anyway, so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go into the battle phase. Um, and that's because if they have a monster with a non-quick effect, they can't activate that effect. So we'll go ahead and activate Oja match. Now we're going to pretend this Oja magic isn't in our hand right now. We're going to send Ojama Green. Unless it was and it's the only other Ojama card you had to discard. So we're going to send Ojama Green. So the two cards you want to search for right off the bat, again, depending on what's on your hand. So first, we, of course, we want to get Ojama Blue because we need him for the combo. And we're going to get an Arm Dragon level three because we need we don't need Arm Dragon level three for the combo itself. We need Arm Dragon level seven, but he's going to help us get there uh, one way or if not, there is other ways. So we're going to summon Ojama Blue. If your life points allow and you can afford it, you want to crash into the monster. We'll hit yes for Ojama Blue's effect. And we're going to search for a Oja match. The Oja match. And we want to search for an Oja magic. The reason we want Oja magic is because we need at least six Ojamas combined either on the field, hand, or graveyard to be able to do this uh, this combo. We're going to do Oja match again. Or I said, yeah. We're going to go ahead and send the Oja magic to the graveyard. We're going to go ahead and search for Ojama Blue. We're going to search for arm dragon level three now this combo guys doesn't just do this i could summon so many monsters and do so many things with this combo but again solely just to show you how to get uh, arm dragon catapult cannon go ahead and uh summon ojama blue we're going to get our three ojamas from the deck because of oja magic so now we have a total of six uh three four five we have we have all six no we have five we have all six ojamas now so we have enough ojamas to pull off the combo so with Ojim, uh, with Ojama Blue, uh, you can at this point already go into uh, Oja Simulation, two Oja Simulations if you want. But uh, we're gonna go a little, we're gonna go one step further here because we we want more Ojamas just in case something happens, right? In case something happens, we we still want to have more Ojamas. So how do we get more Ojamas? Go ahead and get another Oja Magic. In this case, we have an Oja Magic in our hand already. So I'm going to go ahead and go for an Oja Simulation here. Of course, you choose what you want. As long as you have the two Oja Simulations at the end of this, uh, we're going to go ahead and activate Oja Match. Send Oja Magic to the graveyard. And then we're going to go ahead and summon Ojama Blue again. We already have two Arm Dragon Level 3s in our hand. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get an Arm Dragon Level 5. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. We could just get another arm dragon level three too. So guys, worst case is if you've already if you've already done your normal summon in this combo, then you could have skipped this step. You could have gone for the two Oja simulations and then used Oja match to normal summon your arm dragon level three. So if you had already used your normal summon, you could have used Oja match to normal summon your arm dragon level three. In this case, though, we haven't done our normal summon. But it's fine because worst case two is you don't need arm dragon level three on the field. You could find a way to discard your arm dragon level seven. Um, you can find a way to, to discard your arm dragon level seven because uh, he, he just needs to be in the graveyard or on the field. We're going to go ahead and go for the two Oja simulations here. And this part of it is done. So 
now that this is done we're gonna go ahead and go into the main phase too uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and activate Oja Simulation. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get VW Tiger Catapult. Oja Simulation will allow us to reveal the Light Machine Fusion Monster. Banish cards equal to the materials needed from our graveyard, Ojamas. So we're gonna banish two Ojamas. You always wanna try to banish the original Ojamas, green, black, or yellow. Always go for those first reason is is you we're gonna put them back in the deck in case we draw another oja magic we're gonna go ahead and summon these guys we're gonna go ahead and fuse uh do the fusion for them well, we've done the fusion for them let's go ahead and uh summon arm uh, arm dragon level three again you can find a way to just discard the level seven if you needed to we're gonna go ahead and activate the effect of arm dragon sending the arm dragon level three from our hand to the graveyard the reason i'm doing that is because it's gonna let me draw a card we're gonna go ahead and summon arm dragon level five from the deck now i get to draw a card because of arm dragon level three's effect look at that we're gonna be able to summon so many monsters we're gonna go ahead and activate arm dragon level five's effect and we'll go ahead and send uh, we'll just send it no jumbo black to the graveyard go ahead and summon arm dragon level seven We're gonna go ahead and activate Arm Dragon Level 7's effect. We'll send an Ojama Yellow to the graveyard. We'll go ahead and summon Arm Dragon Level 10. At this point, we have what we need in the graveyard. He was on the field already too, but this is an additional monster, guys. As long as they don't activate Maxi, go for this step. They activate Maxi, uh, take this one. Don't act, don't summon level 10 because then they'll draw an additional card. So now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and uh, activate another Oja Simulation. But this time we're going for XYZ. So we will uh, select XYZ, banishing uh, three Ojamas because we need three materials. And then we'll go ahead and select our materials. Now we wanna go ahead and fuse we want to go ahead and fuse uh, to XYZ. All right, so now we have the two fusion monsters we need to be able to summon VW XYZ Dragon Catapult. So we'll go ahead and uh, do that. So now we have VW XYZ Dragon Catapult. Now you can activate its effect if you want. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and do it. We're going to go ahead and activate the effect. I'm going to go ahead and send... I'm going to go ahead and banish this guy. All right. And so now what we want to do... Now here, just so you know this, guys. Uh, at this point, we can summon Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon. And so at this point, he can be summoned. The cool thing is, is that they don't have to be on the field. They can also be in the graveyard. So if you wanted to use these two to get into IP... Uh, you you can do that. You can use those two, get into IP, and then you can still summon this guy, um, which is so cool. But we're gonna go ahead and summon him. We're gonna go ahead and select uh, the materials, and that is that's it, guys. That's it. That is it. Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon is on the field. It was that simple with this deck. Uh, it seems like a lot, but honestly, it's not that bad. Now, me personally, I don't go for Catapult Cannon. I go for A to Z. And the reason is, is Catapult Cannon can just get, I mean, he doesn't negate. So like Raigeki and all that other stuff can really hurt him. So um, I go for A to Z. I don't, I personally don't go for Catapult Cannon. But so here's the variant, guys. Here's the variant to this combo. If I use Oja Simulation, Let's say you're just kind of worried. Uh, you can use Oja Simulation. We can uh, ask for ABC Dragon Buster. We can go ahead and banish three more Ojamas for the materials. So this is just an additional step if you wanted to, or if you wanted to get ABC on the field. Um, go ahead and select, select, select. And then what we can do is we can use their effects to give uh, to give our catapult cannon some protection. 
So now he's protected from... He's protected from a spell effect. He's protected from a monster effect. And he's protected from a trap effect. And the nice thing is if they summon a monster strong enough to out him, uh, they'll get destroyed in his place. So now he's got protection from it all. Alrighty, so again, Flappy helping us for this one. This is how to get into A to Z. Guys, it's exactly the same way uh, how to get into Catapult. Um, so, in this case, we started with an Ojama Blue. So we can already get into the combo. Like I said, guys, there's so many ways to get into this combo. You're most likely going to draw a card to get into it. If not, you'll draw it on the next on the next turn. And look at that, Oja Magic. Okay, so we'll summon Ojama Blue. We'll go into the battle phase. We'll go ahead and crash into his monster. Go ahead and search Oja Match and Oja Magic, because again we need we need enough Ojamas for the combo. Go ahead and activate Oja Match. Send Oja Magic to the graveyard. We'll go ahead and uh, get Ojama Blue again. We'll get Arm Dragon level three. Go ahead and summon Ojama Blue. So we're gonna go ahead and attack here. We're gonna hit yes. We're gonna go ahead and go for another Oja match, and we're gonna go ahead and we have an Oja Oja magic in our hand, so we can go ahead and go for an Oja simulation here. Again, guys, if you can afford to do this and you have the right cards in your hand, you might want to go for two Oja matches in case they can ash one of these Oja matches. Or negated in some form. Go ahead and hit select. We're going to use Oja Match again. We're going to send Oja Magic to the graveyard. We're going to go ahead and go for Ojama Blue. This time we have to get him from the graveyard because we don't have one in our deck. We're going to go for Arm Dragon level 3 again. Arm Dragon level 3 is going to let us go. Oh, normally I would go to into Pile Arm Dragon, but I'm using the same deck that has Catapult in it. So normally I could go for cat for uh, Pile Arm Dragon. But in this case, we don't have them in this deck. We're going to summon the Ojama Blue. We're going to get our free Ojamas again. And at this point, we just need to get the Oja Simulations. I already have one in my hand. I already have an Oja Simulation in my hand. So I'm going to go ahead and get an Oja Simulation and an Ojama Pajama. Guys, Ojama Pajama will protect our Arm Dragons or our Machine Fusion Monsters uh, from being destroyed by Battle or Card Effect by just banishing an Ojama card from your Field, Graveyard, uh, Hand, Field, or Graveyard. So it's super awesome. So we'll go ahead and get Ojama Pajama. Now, at this point, we can go into the main phase. We're going to go ahead and set this Ojama Pajama. We're going to go ahead and activate Oja Simulation. Now, we're going to go ahead and go into... I always go into ABC first. Guys, the reason I go into ABC first, and I'm going to show you a little trick here. So, let's go ahead and banish the three Ojamas we got to banish. The reason I go into uh, ABC, I mean, uh, ABC first. Now, keep in mind, you want to be careful for a Nibiru. You want to be careful for a Maxi. And so you, you should be aware of when to do this. But uh, the reason I go into that is because I can go into a free link here. I can go into, uh, I can go into a free link here and I can go in, I can link into Unicorn. Uh, like, for example, I'll link into IP. This is just extra steps you can do. But I'll go ahead and use IP. And the reason I'll do IP into these two is because that's still too IP is still two materials. Whatever fusion, mo whatever link monster comes out next will be uh, unaffected by destroyed by card effects at least once. I won't activate his effect, but I will activate B Buster Drake's effect, giving me another card in my hand, and that could be 
to discard or whatever the heck I want to do with. And then we can summon um, Unicorn here. Uh, the cool thing about summoning Unicorn here is, let me show you. Now you can do two steps depending on what's what's in your uh, what's in your hand. But I'm gonna use the card that I just got and discard it to activate this this guy's effect here. Now this is all extra, guys. This is all extra. But I'll just go ahead and discard the card I just got. We'll send him back to the deck. Whatever, right? This is just bonus things you can do. But anyway, because you can still you can still summon your uh, ABC w with the cards in the graveyard. We'll go ahead and summon ABC. We'll go ahead and use Oja Simulation again. We'll banish three more Ojamas. We're going to go ahead and go for XYZ. Always do the three original Ojamas if you get a chance. We're going to go ahead and summon. Now, these you can't link summon. These have to be on the field. They have to be under your control. So do not link these guys. We'll go ahead and go into XYZ. And now you could pop the board if you want. If they have more cards, you can. This guy is not a once per turn. You can discard a card, destroy a card on the field. So you can pop the board here if you need to. Uh, if they have a card with the graveyard effect you don't want to be activated, you can banish one card with his effect. Once you're done doing that and you're ready to make your next move, go ahead and select A to Z. And now, A to Z is on the field. That easy. Easy peasy. Now, guys, his effect, if you don't already know it, he can negate a trap, spell, monster effect by discarding a card. It's not once per turn. And on the opponent's turn, or actually on either turn, I think, you can separate him and bring back XYZ and ABC. So he actually lets you have... Uh, two attacks uh, Three attacks total on the opponent's turn So uh, That is how easy it is to do uh, A to Z now guys again if you guys want to see these combos done in action on rank So that you don't think oh well, this is just an easy setup because somebody's helping you make the video watch that It's coming up just right now, and I hope you guys enjoy Here's another instance where I summoned A to Z. This is actually in Platinum, guys. So this is in Platinum rank, and I summon A to Z. This guy I'm playing is Platinum rank. He's same Platinum as me, Platinum 5. Um, and I summon A to Z in this one, too. In rank. Actually, just played him, so I decided to record it. Yeah, Tri Brigade. I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed up, the, speed up the, uh, the match here. But he, you know, he, he took his turn. Summoned a bunch of stuff. And so he's still going. He actually had a good little strat here. Summoning this wing beast. Then doing the nobody can special summon. Um, so that way he can't. they can't be targeted. But I went ahead and used Droplet. Discarded everything but Ojama Blue. So I negated the important effects. Went ahead and ran into the 800. And went into the combo, guys. That easy. This was Platinum. Taking our life points, we're going into the combo. Now I think at this point, no, not yet, but there was a point where I had to make less moves. He did Mac he did Mac see me. Um, he was smart enough to read and know, not smart enough, but he was, he was, uh, 
good enough to read it, or, or well known to read that card and know not to use Maxi when I was doing the normal summons. Uh, he waited for a special summon, so uh, I decided, you know what? As long as he could stay with w under nine cards in his hand, I didn't care about the maxi. As long as he was with uh, within under nine cards, the only risk I ran from the maxi was a Nibiru or a Kaiju. But I didn't think he had a Kaiju. I don't think I've ever seen anybody add a Kaiju to a, tri a Tri Brigade. Uh, even though this wasn't really Tri Brigade, it was a mix of Tri Brigade and anci uh, Ancient Gear Warriors, I think. And so I couldn't clear. See, I couldn't clear those two monsters. I couldn't target them. I couldn't target them, so I did this so that I could get rid of it, and now I could target them. So I had to, I had to give up uh, one more uh, one more draw there, and I had to give him an extra draw. But I wasn't worried. I had Oja Magic in my hand, so I knew on his turn I would have three additional cards in my hand. I, and normally I would go into so many more summons, but uh, Maxi stopped me from doing the additional summon. So we negated this. A to Z Dragon Buster, too broken. Went ahead and went and, and got the three additional cards. So now I can negate every card in his hand if I needed to. We negated that effect. And I think he decided that that, that was it. There was nothing he could do. Uh, so Ujama's in Platinum, first match one. I'll show you guys. Ujama's in Platinum, first match one. Um... And I summoned A to Z. That's how easy it is to summon A to Z. Not hard. Not hard. With this deck. With this deck. Alrighty, another replay to show you the A to Z and how if you don't have the right cards in your hand right off the bat, you can still pull it off. And then another little trick, too, of what you can do with them, if you, you don't already know, um, that can help you win the duel if you're short on points. So a pendulum deck. These decks are probably the least decks that I'm worried about. Uh, in my experience, I've never experienced a pendulum deck that has a lot of counters, counter heavy, so or negate heavy. So unless they work on uh, like the spell counters, but um, anyway, he's going through his play. Let me fast forward this. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through all of this. All right, my turn. I, okay, so the reason I use Droplet there is solely to send Duo to the graveyard. The only re and then of course I can kill his monster because I split his attack in half. So I so the only reason I use Droplet there, and then because I also had Dark Ruler no more, so I wasn't worried. I had I had one of each. I wasn't worried about um about not having any, uh, anything to negate absolutely everything on the field. Uh, but uh, um, Ojama Duo was my way to the combo. So what I did here is I went ahead and activated it, went ahead and discarded a card I absolutely did not need from my hand. Um, and then Ojama Blue to go ahead and get... The only reason I knew to activate this on his turn was because I knew he couldn't negate it. I knew he couldn't negate it. Went ahead and got Oja Match and Oja Magic into my hand. So Ojama Duo was the, the gateway into this combo, into A to Z. Uh, obviously, ultimately, Ojama Blue, but Duo is what got me Ojama Blue. So we negate everything on the field. Honestly, it was unnecessary, but just in case, because this was the th this was the killing combo here. So just in case, we got an Ojama Blue. We went ahead and got the reason I got win for this dragon first is in case somehow he blocked my uh, combo. Um, I have other. I mean, there's I have a more a bigger likelihood of getting into Arm Dragon level three than I do into Pow Arm Dragon because I have three Arm Dragons in the in the deck. So again, Oja Magic. The reason I did Ojama Duo here is, again, in case somewhere along the line he kills the combo, I have Ojama Duo for next turn. So I have some form of protection for next turn uh, to go ahead and go into Ojama Blue again. Uh, now, at this point, I'm safe. I could pretty much do whatever I want because I know there's nothing's going to happen. So uh, go ahead and do this. Uh, I send black to the graveyard. Why did I send black to the graveyard? I think because I wanted to save the o oh, be I think because I ran out of Ojamas and I need to recycle them. I think is the reason I did that. I needed to recycle them. So I kept an o Oja magic for my fusion monsters. Anyway, I went to Oja simulation. Went ahead and did this to bait out anything we could bait out. You know, uh, if he had anything in his hand, uh, usually for Nibiru. So I always do that to try to bait out anything. I went into Mascarena, still couldn't bait out anything. Pile Arm Dragon, still couldn't bait out anything. So I said, all right, uh, he definitely doesn't have Nibiru. He definitely doesn't have it. 
So we go into our goddess. Get rid of his monster. Even if he had an Ibiru here, I'm still safe. Uh, go ahead and do this. Um, and now we go into Palooza. Normally, you want to go into Palooza first, but I had so many things I could do to bait it out. I wasn't worried. I, could, I had so many options to bait it out. I was not worried. Went ahead and uh, send that to draw some cards. Oh, we, yeah, we want to we wanna send Black back so that we can use Oja Magic. And to be honest, I might have I might have had one black already, but I was I just I I don't I don't I think I didn't check, and so I, I needed to be sure. So I send this card because he's unnecessary. Oh, just simulation again. We go to A to Z. Now, guys, uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna show some videos too where I can go to catapult cannon, um, and I'll do that next. Anyway, send those. We we'll bring out, and then we go ahead and uh, we go ahead and pop the board. So we leave him with nothing. Look at how crazy my hand is. Like it, it, I always, it's like I always have a refill of my hand. Go ahead and pop that. And I think we get into platinum uh, after this match. Uh, we we get into platinum. Um, just for the people who say, "Oh, you're only recording when it's victorious or when you're winning," we, we're, we're gonna get into platinum right after this match. And I have other videos on the channel, guys. You guys can go see where I've, I've done this combo. It's fluid. It's very simple. It's very easy. Not complex. Not hard to get into. Um, there's so many cards that are going to aid you into getting into this combo. All centered around Ojama Blue. Keep that in mind. Even then, though, uh, if you don't have Ojama Blue and you've already uh, gotten a certain specific cards in your hand... Uh, you can get into this combo, but if you don't have specific cards in your hands, then it's going to center around Ojama Blue. Because he lets you search your deck for what you want. Alright, so at this point, we can we can negate one thing in his graveyard. I can negate up to four effects, uh, as long as they're not in the same chain. Oh, never mind. He, he, okay, so I only did this for to show you guys. See, I attacked with him. Let's say he was the only monster you had and you needed more power to kill the life points. You can just banish him and bring your cards right back. It'll also help with an interruption. Uh, with uh, uh, ABC, if uh, so, not A to Z just doesn't negate. He lets you do three attacks in one battle phase if you really think about it um, for the kill. And um, and worst case scenario, something happens, you can use the second effect, remove him, and then you have an interruption with ABC. So that is uh, that is that.